Wonderful. Well, welcome, everybody, to the Amherst Design Review Board meeting of March 27th, 2023. My name is Erica Zikas, and I'm the chair of the Design Review Board, and I'm calling this meeting to order at 5.02 p.m. The meeting is being recorded and will be made available via the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. Minutes are being taken. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended by Chapter 22 of the Acts of 2022 and extended again by the legislature on July 16th, 2022, this design review board meeting will be conducted via remote means using the Zoom platform. The Zoom meeting link is available on the meeting agenda posted on the town's website calendar. Uh, calendar listing for this meeting or go to the design review board webpage and click on the most recent agenda, which lists the Zoom link at the top of the page. No in-person attendance of the public is permitted. However, every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the meeting in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship or despite best efforts, we will post an audio or video recording, transcript or other comprehensive record of the proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting on the Town of Amherst website. Board members, I will take a roll call, and when I call your name, please unmute yourself, answer affirmatively, and return to mute. Tom Long? Present. Rebecca Lockwood? Present. Catherine Porter? Yes, present. Lindsay Schnarr is not present tonight. Erica Zikas? Present. And we also have uh, Chris Brestrup and Jennifer Mullins from the town. Uh, board members, if technical issues arise, we may need to pause temporarily to fix the problem and then continue the meeting. If the discussion needs to pause, it will be noted in the minutes. Please use the raise hand function to ask a question or make a comment. I will see your request and call on you to speak. After speaking, remember to remute yourself. The general public comment item is reserved for public comment regarding items that are not on tonight's agenda. Please be aware the board will not respond to comments during general public comment period. Public comment could also be heard at other times during the meeting when determined appropriate. Please indicate that you wish to make a comment by clicking on the raise hand button when public comment is solicited. If you've joined the meeting um, using a telephone, please indicate that you wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your phone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name and address and put yourself back into mute when finished speaking. Residents can express their views for up to three minutes at the discretion of the planning board chair, design review board chair. If a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their allotted time, their participation will be disconnected from the meeting. Tonight's agenda includes one, uh, the following item, uh, DRB FY 2023. Three, number 18, the Amherst Bid Business Improvement District to review the proposed changes to the Boltwood Walk directory sign. Item two is approval of meeting minutes from February 27th and March 6, 2023, general, uh, general public comment period and other business, um, which I propose to be a discussion of renewing uh, terms and term limits. If anybody else has anything to add, please speak. All right, well, let's get started then with um, number 18. Do we have a representative from the bid in attendance tonight? Gabrielle, it appears cool. that we don't. I, I'm just texting um, Gabrielle, I don't. Gabrielle is in the audience, Jennifer. Oh, she is? Yeah. So oh, I don't, she's not coming up for me. As an attendee? Oh, there you are. Sorry, Gabrielle. Ignore me. Okay, good. She's here. Yay. Can you bring her over to be one of us? Oh, okay. One. Here she is. Hi. How is everybody? Hi. You're welcome. Thank you. I had to bring oh. you over to the other side. I'm sorry. Hi. It's okay. I like my side. I'm going <laughs> to stay in the shadows here. Um, okay. So thank you for, for seeing us and I believe on short notice as well. Um, as everybody knows, there's the Boltwood Walk sign that is um, sort of strategically placed between the universe, the UU Church and um, the Roberts Building that hosts that holds Coronation Cafe and several other businesses. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I can share my screen. 
Um, uh, if I can find the image, Gabrielle, I'm happy to. Yeah, do it. that just, that would be great. That would be great. I, um, simply put, it's been it's been blank for a very long time. Um, and I have permission from Barry Roberts, who owns the sign, um, to bring the uh, logos and names of the businesses that um, are sort of right around that uh, Boltwood Walk sign. And um, it would be at the bid's expense. We're not asking the businesses to do this, but um, especially next Toledo, who is down um, that, that walkway um, last this past um, summer, I was able to put cafe lights back and forth between the buildings to sort of brighten it and make it a little bit of a safer walkway. And um, we just we'd love to see these businesses get a little bit more representation on the street front. Um, there you go. Um, I am not a graphic designer, um, but I also um, before I pay uh, um, Amherst Copy to do this for us for real. Um, this is the, basically the general gist of it. Um, if the businesses have a proper logo, like Coronation Cafe and Mexicalitos and Pita Pockets, we will we would like to use their logos as you know that's their branding. Uh, Panda East and Paul Shoe Repair at the moment does not have, so we would like to go with a very simple, um, clean and easy to read font for them. But this is basically the general gist of what we'd like to do. We would like to, um, you know, as we gain businesses, I know that there's a lease on what was Hair East, um, also add businesses. And, you know, um, let's face it, we do lose businesses over time. So if we were to lose a business, we'd like to be able to replace it with the current business that is in that location. Great. And is this, is this a two-sided sign? It is. It would be on both sides. Uh, the same exact layout. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'd love to open it up to uh, DRB members for comment um, and some guidance mm -hmm. to the bid for this effort. Does anybody mm -hmm. have a thought to share? Tom, um, you wanna jump in? I see Tom and then Becky, we'll go to Becky after. I think Becky was first, but um, I no, just want, I'll just, <laughs> right, I'll just say, I mean, I support this totally as an idea. I think getting exposure um, down that way is super helpful. Um, so I don't really, I mean, obviously this is just mock-ups of the logos on there. So I don't really have any concerns with it based on the fact that those are the actual logos. Um, so I, I really have no comment in particular on it as it is, other than I think it's a great idea um, mm -hmm. to get some representation there. Thanks. And, and Becky? Um, definitely agree with Tom. It, it's a really good idea. Um, I guess my question is, is, is this the way it's going to look? Or are you going to do some more design work? Because I like it, um, I, but I would just suggest on the Mexicalito sign, if you could just do the logo like Coronation. Um, it, it absolutely oh. will be. I just didn't, oh, have, a, I didn't okay. have a transparent logo for them. Um, okay. So when we'll be having um, Amherst Copy do the proper design and the proper work, and they will all okay. look the same. <clears throat> well, it's great. Fantastic. Oh, I see Catherine, you have a comment? Yeah. Um, I had to rack my brain. I'd probably walk by this sign as million times and never paid any attention to it. Now I'm looking at it. And so I had two questions. Um, if, uh, how many, I mean, right now you have a limited number of shops that are in that block. So uh, I'm assuming you don't anticipate that there would be so many more that, that uh, there wouldn't be room on the sign for another, to add another uh, shop or two. Uh, is that right, that this is probably the max, maybe room for one more uh, store on this sign, given the way I see the placement of the uh, signs now? How many are Yes, you... Catherine, we're yeah. holding that space for the yeah. location that would be going into Hair East. Um, right. I don't okay. have their logo yet. Yeah, okay. Um, this is, I, I believe, unless things got chopped up and made smaller, this is what this bolt would walk uh -huh. sign would be for these right. big businesses. Okay. The the only thing that I would like to see is, and again, maybe this is in your your mind, is some color in that sign. 
um, given that it's a Mexican restaurant, uh, is there any possibility of- I, I can't, I, I can't change their logo and their- Oh, that's what they want. That's what they, they don't want any color in it then. Is that what you're saying? No, but the, the Coronation oh, okay. Cafe and the Mexicalito logos are both black and white. Um, Pita Pockets is, is that vibrant blue. Yeah, um, right. We could put some, yeah, we could do some color with Panda East and Paul Shoe Repair because at the moment they don't have logos and I, yeah. I don't really okay. think that the shoe repair is about to go get a logo. No, mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted yeah, to. I <laughs> I had a comment as well about the color. I think that Pita Pockets pops for yeah. a number of reasons. One is that it's on the diagonal and that's their logo and that's great. Um, and then the other is that it's the only one in color right now. And so I would encourage like all of them to be in white. Um, and sorry, we're, the delivery is happening. And so of course my dog is barking. Um, and then just wondering if, and I wonder what the the other members of the, um, board think about this, but you know, thinking about whether there is a, a hierarchy here or not, um, I feel mm -hmm. that the ones that are kind of spanning across uh, without logo, but they're just the text kind of pop. And I might either, I don't know, I might think about a, a six square grid, like a two by three, yeah. grid and kind of pop everybody in. Erica, we could easily do like Panda East. Um, like oh, like above each other, and Paul should repair above, so it's it's square, so it's six squares instead of across. That that actually would look really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and That'd make that good. very clean. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. So that's those are those are my comments is to just kind of even everybody out, um, and not have like one in color, and that is my I think having everything in everything in color or none of them in color is my mm -hmm. primary comment. And then kind of mm, eliminating hierarchy by going with a grid. So I don't know. Yeah, we stuff. could probably put Pita Pockets in a, a like a bold black with the line that they have the in the center of each letter. We could do that white. Mm -hmm. I just, I need to ask Vivian and Yusuf if that's okay. Sure. So I've made that suggestion, but I don't speak for the board. Does anybody else have thoughts on those uh, comments? Yeah, I think it would look a bit better balanced if there was some symmetry to it. Uh, and at, now that we have new businesses with a little bit looking a little more personality, I sort of, I agree. I think it might be good to uh, reconfigure the uh, everything, put Panda and Paul in, a, in their own little box, so the square or whatever. All right. <clears throat> well then, <laughs> so to some <laughs> of the comments, general appreciation for this um, advice to the bid is to um, make everything black and white or find a way to introduce color to each of them and consider a layout um, with a, a six square grid. Yeah. If that doesn't work. Yeah. Um, so who um, does- Erica, if, if, mm -hmm. sorry, if we were able to do that, um, I wanna get this, if, if you don't know, um, Amherst copy goes into graduation and we lose like all capacity to get them free for a moment so i'd like right. to get them working on this immediately so if if we could redesign this and then maybe email it to the group that it meets the request that you're having today um and not wait my a month sense, before. my sense is that we're we're close enough here with these okay. comments that we wouldn't need to review it again right and timing sorry uh, can i ask for a motion and a second Uh, I move that we, I'm not quite sure that, uh, <laughs> what, I mean, yeah, I'm not sure I can move until. I'm to sure. move, move the uh, approval of the sign with the recommendations of. Okay, I, I can move that, but then we had all this discussion about the grid and color. Is that 
part of the motion or is that going to be sort of suggestion outside of the motion? I'm, what, I move that we accept this uh, logo for the Mexican restaurant and that consideration be given to reconfiguration of the uh, sign so that uh, every owner has part of a grid and that there should be consideration of color. <laughs> Epic. <Okay>. <laughs> Tom? I'll second. <laughs> All those in favor? Uh, Aye. <laughs> Aye. Could, I, could I ask one thing, Gabrielle? Who does the landscaping under that uh, uh, sign? Um, Chris Hall. Um, it, it's in its spring. We have yet to get out with mulch, but it's starting to bloom. Um, and then we usually put two large pots there as well. Okay. From Andrew's it's, greenhouse. Yeah, it's the bid then it or the town takes care. The bid takes care of that. Okay. If you see a flower downtown, it's it's us. All right. Okay. It looks sort of bleak right there. Oh, everything looks bleak right now, okay. Catherine. So I'm, maybe I'm even, see, I'm seeing a little sprout. I actually am seeing little shoots right there. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I have to say this, I think this was two weeks ago. I think it's even gotten a little bit better. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Gabrielle. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. Take you care. too. All okay. right. Thank you. That was great. My dogs barked the entire time. That was um, OK. Moving on to approval of uh, meeting minutes. We have um, March 27 and February 27 to review. Has anybody, has everybody had a chance to see them, or should I screen share and scroll through? Yeah? Catherine? You good? I'm okay. Okay, grand. Um, well, then we just need a, a conversation um, about any changes to the minutes, or if uh, that's not an issue, then we could have a motion to approve. I move we approve the minutes of these of the two <laughs> two dates. <laughs> February 27th and March yes. 20th. Yes. Yeah. Second. March 6th. And yeah. thank you, Catherine. And Becky seconding um, all those in. Oh, Thomas's hand up, down. Okay. Any discussion on that? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in favor of approving those two min uh, meeting minutes, please raise your hands. Aye. We've got unanimous approval. Thank you for writing those up. Chris. Um, Public comment period. Is there anybody from the general public in attendance this evening? No. no. All right then. Well then, the last <laughs> is other business not anticipated. Um, and I thought, given uh, Chris's email uh, earlier today, that we could have a quick chat about. Um, how long we've all been on the board and uh, eligibility to renew. Like, what do we need to know? I've served two terms and I'm willing to go for a third. I don't know if we have term limits. Seems so like we I, use. May I speak? Please. So I did consult Angela um, Mills upstairs in the town manager's office today about um, restrictions on term limits um, or just term limits. It used to be that um, you couldn't serve more than two terms, two three year terms, um, because they wanted to give people, you know, time to um, new people time to serve. Um, it's not absolutely clear that that's still a policy, although Angela is checking. Um, so some of you have served um, a long time. Catherine has been on the board since the 2015, I think. Um, and it's great that she's <laughs> been serving all this time. So, you know, Catherine, um, we would want to know if you wanted to continue to serve. And then Lindsay has also been on the board a long time since right. 2016. And I, yeah. yeah. 
and the others have been um, on the board for a shorter time, but uh, their terms are expiring um, in 2023. So that's kind of what I know. And, and people have been asking me, well, I think some, I think Angela has asked some of you already, whether you want to um, re-up. So I guess that's the conversation that um, it would be great if you could have that conversation. Yeah, we don't need to make everybody commit tonight, but if you do have a strong feeling about it, it'd be nice to hear so that we can either start recruiting for your year yeah. or, uh, or knowing that you're going to stay with us. Well, I'm happy to, to remain, but I, I did have a question. Maybe, Chris, you know, are there, are, is there any interest from the general public on joining this board? Uh, I don't know what enthusiasm people are showing for town committees these days. Do we know? I do not know. Um, okay. The uh, town manager's office receives a citizen activity forms, I think. Um, mm -hmm. and, and, and I don't know what the status of those is. I, I do know on the historical commission that we've experienced difficulty in getting new members. Yeah. That doesn't, that's just that commission, but. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, my position is tied, not tied to, but is an appointment via planning board appointment. Right. So there's that linkage too that I'm still on this fence about whether or not that happens over the next. I have some other obligations I'm trying to sort out, but I, but you know, I think that decision would probably carry over to this. So I'm, I just need a little time to sort that out. But, um, but they, they are connected. So uh -huh. for me, so it seems that from everybody on the panel tonight, sorry, my dogs are still going. Um, that there's either interest or motivation um, to stick around. So if if we have confirmation that there aren't term limits, we will all be interested in continuing on. Mm -hmm. okay. Enough to work yeah. with for an analysis? Yeah. Well, I was going to say, too, if, if it appears that there are people who would like to serve on this board, then probably right. I should be the person who leaves because I have the longest tenure. So, you know. How many can we have on the board? That's What's the max? Five. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Great. So it sounds like Tom might be a little bit on the fence and his decision relates to being on the planning board. Yes. And I hope Although he- somebody else from the planning board would come to join us. So good luck with that convincing. Yeah, he lives down the street from me. Maybe I could do some kind of a his house. <laughs> walk by and knock on my door every day. I could bring him food, cupcakes, or something. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Well, um, thank you everybody for for okay. sharing your time for the last term, and um, hopefully we'll all be here at the next meeting. Um, Catherine, thank you for offering to continue or to step back if somebody else was waiting in the wing. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I guess, hear from Chris uh, about that um, in the interim, yeah. and we'll sort all of that out. But for now, Good. we got a great crew. Okay. Thank you all. Uh, motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn the meeting. Oh, okay. <laughs> I assume it's unanimous. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Chris and Take care. Bye.